Yo, what is going on guys? I have the trade day results for you again. Sadly, not going to be a live commentary, but we're going to look right in the trades and some very frustrating stuff happens. We have a Corey Perry. We're going to reject the first trade. It was not very good. We're going to reject the second trade, but Xbox One decides to just boot us off the game and this is sped up by like 50%. So sadly, I didn't have enough time to check the trades for I think it was two or three players. Uh, I remember I had a pretty good trade in Corey Perry that I want to actually accept, sadly. Can't go back and take that because I waited too long, but there was not many trades, but the longer I waited, the more trades came in, so I think it was worth it, but sadly, I didn't get a chance to look at any trades really on the Suter or the Corey Perry, so I'm sorry if you guys sent in a good trade there, it didn't work out. We have Matt Duchesne, who I do not really want to sell. I did not want the Getzlaff because he's only 120k. The Voracek is not the best offer. Bergeron, I wasn't really sure what his price was, so I think I by accident rejected that, and the rest just didn't look too good. The regular Corey Perry's only like 115, 120k, and Duchesne's about 160k still. 155 his last price sold was. He's a really good player, probably my favorite, so I did not want to sell him. We have 82k straight up for Tavares. I don't really know what he goes for, but we're going to take that trade. So thank you so much, whoever sent that in. Honestly, that means a lot, especially since I said, I think I said I was looking for pucks or coin sorry kessel who was a really good player as well we weren't like i didn't really want to sell a uh, trade or sell him that much but we're looking at some of our options and the first the first one was really good the second one was all right this one the third one is so good and the same with the last one the 74k one was good as well but that suka is so good and i'm gonna take this trade and 10k that's like a 95 almost 95k trade for kessel which i don't know how much he goes for i thought it was only 85k so Thank you ever since like all these trades basically. Even the Grabner one, which is a bit low, was still a really good trade in my opinion. Because Grabner is like, well, Grabner's not that much, but that's like a 75k trade. And that's pretty close. So they're all really close trades, and I appreciate all the trades, honestly. This one for Dowdy, um, Rene goes for like maybe 35-40k, I think. And I don't really want Sadin or Spezza, sadly. And Dowdy, in my opinion, is one of the best defensemen I've used. So sadly I didn't want to take that trade. This trade, I was not sure on the price for Kopitar and plus his slow speed, so I wasn't really sure how much he would go for, so we did not take that. The Ryan Suter was a double deal, basically someone messaged me on Twitter asking if he could trade Ryan Suter for Petrolangelo and Carlson, and I thought, hey, why not do that trade? That's pretty even. Petrolangelo's like 60 and Carlson's like 40, and Suter's like 100, so I decided to do that. So, Petrolangelo for Suter, again, if, you're, if you weren't watching or listening, you'd be like, whoa, that's a great deal, it's like a donation, but... I accepted this Ranger change team, but I was just looking at the other ones. That's pretty all right trade, and that's a pretty good one as well. But we take this because we just accepted the suitor for the pitcher Angelo. So thank you so much for that. Pretty good trade. Instead of having to sell two players, I only have to sell one now. Who's a top defenseman, so it's probably a bit easier to sell than Petro Angelo and Carlson. Down to the final two guys that have a trade. The Corey Perry is a giveaway, so stay tuned for that video. I have two of them. One of them, of course, I wanted to trade. Didn't work. This trade, sadly, this was the only one that got nothing, honestly. No offense to the trades here. Carter's like 15k, Richards is like 2, and Brown's probably like 2, so that's like maybe 30k there. Richards is, uh, I mean, Nash is, I believe, like a... I'm gonna say, I could swear he's like a 50k player, I believe. He's a 50 to 60k player, and the best trade was maybe 30k. Who like players, it's gonna be hard to sell. And this one, Kopitar again, the slow 86 skating. I believe he's maybe 40k. McDonough's probably like 15k. I, I Drew's too good in my opinion. So thank you, whoever sent all those trades. Again, I'm so sorry I couldn't accept the trades for November Perry or Suter, but my game randomly just glitched on me, brought me back to the dashboard, which it constantly does for some reason. Well, not constantly, but it does it every now and then, and it's really frustrating. And of course, it does it there but again thank you for sending all those trades it honestly means a lot i'll probably try to bring more as well if you guys enjoyed it i got a few trades like two to three on each player so i really appreciate it but again guys thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and if you haven't already subscribe if you haven't see you guys next time